in going to Afghanistan or going to the Middle East or if he was ever in Guantanamo or some other camp, look out, he's one of their operatives. And then sure enough, I get up this morning and that's exactly what happened. And I'm just like, wow. And then they've got him surrounded in an apartment. In fact, keep tracking it, folks. Something may happen with that. And uh, you know, they're having this big show. Who knows if anybody's even in there? Do they, are they going to shoot or kill some other Patsy and say it's him later? Uh, I mean, it, I knew this day one, but it came out in the Spanish newspapers. And the government, actually, there was mass demonstrations. And the government had to step down. Remember what, back in 2003, when they had the Madrid bombings, and it turned out there was a government drill, and there were anti-terror police, and then they claimed they followed the people that were involved to an apartment, and the police blew it up. And then it turned out there weren't even all the bodies they sat in there, and it was just, oh, the bad men that did the bombing, they're in there, and boom, the building blew up. It's always the same. And that did come out in the Spanish news that it was government involvement. Always the same. Always the same. Because who stands to gain from this? Who gets to crack down on liberties? Who gets to shut down the press? Who gets to pose as saviors? Who gets more funding? How many times have fire departments, and I think firefighters on average are the best people in our society, great servants, brave men and women, but how many times do you see it as a footnote in the news that a fire department is about to get its funding cut so one of the people involved gets caught by a sheriff's deputy driving along, coming out of a barn they just set on fire. Or fire department caught setting grass fires. It, it, it's the oldest trick in the book. You know how the Romans? Do you think the Italian La Cosa Nostra just started coming to people's businesses in the last hundred years and saying, pay me protection money or somebody's going to burn down your business, pay me fire protection? That was done for a hundred years plus before the birth of Christ. Over 2,000 years ago, on record, the most powerful guild in the city of Rome itself, the biggest city in the world at that time, was the fire department. And if there was a real fire, they'd come put it out. Because back then, fires were really devastating. They'd burn through the whole city. But if you didn't pay them the protection money, you better believe your area is going to get burned down. And it was an unofficial tax on the different quarters because it was all, you know, in different minority areas where people wouldn't kill each other. Just like today, uh, you had the Jewish quarter, the Persian quarter, the Egyptian quarter, later the German, the Gaul quarter, uh, the Austrian area, all there. And they would come and say, you're going to raise money, chief, head guy of this area, or somebody's going to burn down your neighborhood. Now, you got that, Jack? <sighs> and, of course, under government regulation, you weren't allowed to organize your own firefighting brigade. No, no, no. That's why government doesn't want you to be armed. They want the government to have the monopoly of force. You've got to call them to protect you. You see, the average cop isn't for that. They know better. They know more guns, less crime on the whole usually within about two years, well, not usually in every case, uh, of a concealed carry being put into place. 20 plus percent drop in violent crime. I mean, you look at the numbers in Texas, it's, 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 it doesn't even register for home invasions compared to somewhere like New York, New York City, where it's just home invasions are off the charts. You home invade here, about 50% of the time, you're going to get your head blown off real fast. But I'm digressing. I've got all this news I want to get to. I started getting into celebrities and how all these celebrities are awake. And for me, that's a radar ping or a sonar ping that, wow, liberty is really popular. And this is all under the surface. We've got to wear our colors proudly for freedom so that everybody knows we're the majority. We've got the answers. And we know who's to blame for the major problems, the big mega central banks, who say, too big to fail, world depression if you don't bail us out, and then loans us our money back in Greece and everywhere else saying, oh, you got to raise your taxes and cut your benefits to give us more money. We'll give you these loans that's your money you gave us a year ago. If you'll do what we say and pay us even more money. 
I mean, it is so transparent. But because people don't have heroes that are into how the Federal Reserve works, that's why Ron Paul is so dangerous for the system. It makes a hero out of somebody that's into reality. No, they don't want that. They want your heroes to be football and baseball and basketball players. And it's fine for children who are playing baseball, football, you know, swimming, whatever, golf, to have a hero because they're in sports. Sports is wonderful. One of the best things out there for youth to keep them out of trouble. I'm all for sports if you're participating in it or your children are in it. But once the children get out of school, you're supposed to move on in every society from that. And sports is a minor diversion. Now it's all that matters with most men. They may even know about the New World Order, but it doesn't matter. Their tribal energies are spent on gladiatorial diversions and distractions bred in the circus. So driving in, listening to BBC, I heard them in, in Taiwan, you know, great folks. Taiwan deserves its sovereignty. Talked about how they never get recognized because the Chai Coms don't want it that way. Uh, and it's how Jeremy Lin, this big... Um, Point guard, NBA, you know, New York Knicks, Harvard Christian, American born is their hero, and they cancel school when he plays. They they cancel everything and watch him and worship him because that's their identity now. Because the media worldwide never gives them any credit. You don't need the media to give to make you feel good as incredibly hardworking, smart engineers, developers, and people that are standing up against the communist Chinese and their oppressive system. When, when, when that little bit of liberty in Taiwan has actually helped transplant free market to China and is responsible for much of the success in China. But it was how they never felt good till they had somebody the media said was great. Like you need the globalist media. And the so-called American media, which is New World Order media, central, to tell you that a Taiwanese had some value and they're worshiping this guy. And I'm sure he's a great person. I think it's fine for kids to think, oh, great, I could you know, do good at sports and, and, and go to the next level because it teaches you to persevere. It teaches you to you know, reach those goals. But it's sick in that that's the only way they can feel good when the system tells them and the only hero can be a basketball player. They don't want it to be a single mother that's able to raise their children and keep them out of trouble, and then those children end up becoming inventors and scientists or trailblazers who are successful. They don't want that image. So people only believe they can thrive in the limited slots of professional sports, which you've probably got, what, one in a couple hundred thousand shot, they say, if you're a football player, of uh, being a professional football player. It's the same in, in the other sports. So it's the idea that that's the venue. That's See, they're controlling your dreams through this. They're controlling the maps of the mind. They're the map makers. They, they create this little box, and the Taiwanese say, we feel so depressed about who we are, but now we have Jeremy Lin and we feel good. You need the media to give you someone who's Taiwanese who's excelling at something when you're excelling at everything you do. But the media won't tell you that. They want to make you think Taiwan's a joke, Taiwan's bad, Taiwan's not a country. Well, don't let that get you down. They're getting you ready for absorption into communist China. And they use the same stuff everywhere to control people. In the mainland of China, they use sports and things to control people. Because they don't want school children thinking about Thomas Jefferson or George Washington as a hero. And let me tell you, George Washington, if they made a movie that was accurate about George Washington, no one would believe it. I mean, you talk about Conan the Barbarian. Hundreds of battles. Regardless of what you think about Andrew Jackson, even more ridiculous, the battles. And I'm talking about the British and French and Spanish accounts of it. Davy Crockett, people like that. I mean, you talk about the real deal. And all they've got is cheesy 1940s and 50s TV shows about Davy Crockett. Folks, that's not Davy Crockett and Sam Houston and people with arrows sticking out of them 
you know, uh, fighting 10 to 1 odds. The real Indian wars were in the east and the middle of the country. There were battles with Native Americans and settlers where there were 20,000 settlers and 100,000 Indians. And I'm not even glamorizing any of this and saying it was good. Both sides were killing each other. The point is you're never even given that real history. You're never even given uh, everything is the 1860s and 70s and 80s out west where it was a mopping up extermination operation. You know why it was a mopping up extermination thing? Because the whites were scared and had almost been beaten repeatedly and had whole areas completely wiped out and killed. All over the East Coast, all over the middle of the country, there were battles in Illinois, there were battles uh, in uh, all over this country where tens of thousands were killed. Giant guerrilla wars. That's where America comes from. That's, that's what our country came out of, whether you're Native American or whether you're white, black, it doesn't matter what color you are. The history of this country is swashbuckling adventure that you is just so wild when you actually read the histories of it that it's off the chart. Andrew Jackson in New Orleans behind a wooden blockade with the British firing cannons. And he's up there in a black cloak described by the British at hundreds of yards away with his eyes glowing in the dark and just his energy there refusing to give up and then later defeating them. I mean, just all of it. All of it is, is, is just amazing. And, and Jackson in duels and, and bleeding for three days with most of his blood on the ground, refusing to die and just all of it. I mean, that's what Americans come from. We are not these cowardly, pathetic creatures that they have made us to believe that we are. We come from amazing, dynamic, brave people, and we need to reclaim our birthright and realize who our ancestors are. We are not these weak, cowardly, television-watching jellyfish. Big news straight ahead. I've seen the longevity products work for many others. And All right, I have been ranting and digressing off into history, but it's it's important because those that don't know history are doomed to repeat it. We'll continue to track uh, the standoff with the supposed gunman who's in the apartment. We have no idea if that's even true over in Toulouse, uh, France. I'm not going to spend all day on this, but I'll cover it more later in the broadcast Obama campaign says white first lady joke was inappropriate. And here's my issue. If Rush Limbaugh would have said something like this, he would be off the air. They have TV shows on national television during the family hour that I can't even say the name of on radio because I know I have children listening and I've got to control myself. But it's good Christian bleepers. It's okay to attack white people. It's okay to put down uh, Christians because the system wants to play different groups off against each other. And that's the acceptable system. And Robert De Niro, who's a great actor but must be an idiot supporting the Democratic Party, Robert De Niro 